Well, the efficiency is R radiated over R radiated plus R loss. So we need to identify that this is R radiated. So we'd have 40 over 40 plus the loss resistance is R loss, so a plus 10, and that is 0.8, for the antenna is 80% efficient. And the gain is the efficiency. There's a few different forms for gain that we can use, and since we know the directivity is 4, and we just calculated the efficiency, then the most convenient form of gain is the efficiency times the directivity, which is 0.8 times 4, which is 3.2. And if we wanted to convert this to dBi, then we would take 10 log base 10 of 3.2, and that's 5.05 dBi. As a final note about this example, when we get a gain of 3.2, it's not that we have an amplifier in our antenna. The gain of 3.2 just means that uh, despite some losses in our antenna, we have 3.2 times more power in the direction of maximum propagation than we would if we were using an isotropic lossless antenna. So what is the gain of our cantenna? Well, cantennas can have a gain on the order of 10 to 14 dBi. But this assumes we can easily find a can with the right dimensions or possibly construct one. If we can't, we would need to consider another directional antenna. So far, we looked at a waveguide or horn antenna option. And so let, next, let's consider a Yagi antenna. That's one that you might see fairly often. A Yagi Uda antenna has a radiating half wave dipole, which is right here. And there's a reflector behind it. The reflector is just slightly longer than a half wavelength. So the, the radiating dipole is a half wavelength. This one right here is slightly longer. And then there is some number of directors in front of the radiating dipole, and these are slightly shorter than a half wavelength. The bottom image here shows a, an example Yagi Uda antenna that was constructed out of some wood and some metal wires. The coax here is connected only to the driving element, so the second one there. Any antenna elements that are not electrically connected to the driving element are called parasitic elements, so all these are parasitics. So the reflector, the directors are all par parasitic elements, and each of them, what's going to happen here is that each of them is going to absorb the wave that is radiated by the dipole, and then it's going to re-radiate that wave with a slightly different phase. So here's kind of a, a diagram where we have two waves incident on this director, and it's going to slightly shift the phase of these waves. And so here we're going to get more constructive interference in the forward direction. So if we look at this right here, here is the forward direction, and here is the radiating dipole and the reflector behind it. So as these all these different directors uh, re-radiate the signal and shifts the phase, they're ideally all exactly in phase. So the circles here are originate from the element that's radiating it. So the pink circle, this one, is starts from this element. And the blue one is centered at the D2 here, and so forth. So they're color coordinated. And in the forward direction, the phases of all these, they re all reach a peak uh, where the circle is aligned. And so they're all aligned in the forward direction. And ideally, in the backwards direction, they're at a phase and we get destructive interference and we don't get as much radiation in the backward direction. In the case of a Yagi Uda antenna, more parasitic elements, more directors, provides more gain and a narrower bean width. So here's an example of a 10 element Yagi Uda uh, antenna, the radiation pattern. And uh, the kind of gain that we can expect from a Yagi Uda antenna is about 10 to 20 
FDBI. Take out your in-class project notebooks and record that good antennas are not always available in some parts of the world and importing them can be expensive, so we're going to build our own antennas. We've gone through two candidate directional antennas, the Cantenna and the Yagi Uda antenna. So you can record the gain values for each of these antennas, uh, which is 10 to 14 for the Cantenna and 10 to 20 for the Yagi Uda antenna. And make a note about how for hand-built antennas, we can assume an antenna efficiency of about 50%.